Hey guys, today I want to talk about a really cool app for your iPhone. Now as far as I know, this is only for iOS, so sorry Android guys. And you know what, I feel your pain because I've got my Nexus 2 and there's some stuff I'd like to do on there because it's a little bigger interface, but you know what, I can use my iPhone for this. Now, I have three vehicles that I want to track my maintenance for. And it gets a little confusing sometimes, especially with bikes, because you know what, let's face it, bikes have a lot more maintenance to do than cars. So I tried a ton of them. I tried free ones, I tried paid ones. This one is by far the best I've found so far. It's called Gearhead. It's only a couple bucks, and so far it's doing 99% of what I want it to do. I wanted to be able to put in my own stuff, track it how I want to track it. Um, I'd say nine out of 10 of what I found were really based around fuel mileage, tracking your fuel economy and crap like that. I don't care about that. I'm not going to change the way I ride my motorcycle based on a number on a screen. Oh no, I went down 1.2 miles per gallon. I'm going to do, no, I don't care. It is what it is. I'm not even going to track fuel mileage. If you want to track fuel mileage, you can do so. It does that. You just click the fuel here and you can put in at each fuel stop what your odometer reading is, how many gallons you put in, how much it costs and the date. And it will give you all sorts of nifty data about your fuel economy if you want to. Okay, so that's one way that you can update your mileage. There are multiple ways. Now I'm using this to track maintenance. All you do is scroll up here and boom, you've got a huge list that you can customize of whatever you want to track for all kinds of services for your vehicles. Now this is obviously my bike and I'm putting in stuff that I have to actually do. I'm not putting in stuff to inspect because frankly I do that all the time anyway. You know, like check your clutch lever and check your tire conditions, all kind of stuff. I'm not putting that in here. The stuff I'm going to keep track of is stuff I have to do, change, clean, or adjust, that kind of thing. So you break out your manual, you flip to the handy periodic maintenance and adjustment schedules, and you put in whatever you want to put in. There's a few pages worth on the bike here. Same thing with your car, break out your owner's manual, service manual, Haynes manual, whatever, and track what you want to track. This tracks both by time and mileage, which Surprisingly, a lot of them didn't. So I put in all the major stuff that I'm going to be tracking. And I'll, I'll first tell you the one negative thing I have to say about the app. Everything else is perfect. Here's the one negative thing. It doesn't allow you to track less than one month increments. Check in tire pressure, for example. I like to check it every two weeks. So I would love to be able to put in 0.5 months. So if I wanted to record a new service, I'm sorry, let me back up just a second. First of all, you see these colors along the side here? Check tire pressure is yellow, because that means service is coming up. If you miss it, it turns red. So it's a really clear indicator just by glancing at the screen what your condition of all your stuff is. Green means you got plenty of time, don't worry about it. It tells you when it's due, either in miles or time frame. So that's really cool, just a glance at this. But the color, obviously very easy to work with. But for example, Check tire pressure. It says due in 27 days. That's because I can only put in one month as the lowest time frame. So that I will just have to keep an eye on that due in whatever. And when it says 14, put in a new service record. Say I did it today. You click new service record. You update the odometer. Whenever you do something, you just put in your current odometer reading and that's how it updates itself. And it, everything else is automatically updated. So all all your current pending stuff gets an update whenever you change your current odometer reading. And you just put in, you know, what you did, when you did it, if there's a cost associated, if you want to track that, and you press OK. OK, let's say you want to add a new service. It's very easy. I'm going to put in, let's see, uh, I didn't put in pack steering bearings and that's due every 16,000 miles boom now it says no records yet and you notice there's no color so it's not going to be tracking when it's due to fix that all you do is put in your first new service at zero when it was delivered so I got it on July 18th 2014 and now it has obviously new from the factory and we've got a green bar 
So now it's tracking and it's due in another 12,900 miles. And that's as easy as it is. is. If you want to track your repairs and mods, I'm not doing that simply because any repairs I'm doing, like I had to have my uh, dash cluster replaced, I've got the receipts in the in the bike folder, so I'm not really worried about that. And mods, I, I don't care to track them. It's not like I'm doing anything with the data. But you can do the same thing, add anything you want in the same fashion, just for your records. And multiple vehicles, just as easy. Slide on over, got my car. Got my wife's car. Bada bing, bada boom. You can add multiple vehicles, obviously as many bikes as you want, and it makes it super easy. So I just want to pass this on. If anybody else is like me and you want to easily keep track of stuff electronically, definitely check out Gearhead for a couple bucks. You can't beat it. See ya!